I've seen many variants of the following history. A 42-year-old woman chases a, a thief on foot. She runs after a thief who stole her son's bicycle. Um, never catches the thief, but she ruptures her Achilles tendon. Two days later, she has surgery. She's, the surgery goes very well. After the surgery, they put her in a cast. And four weeks later, she's doing well, but she's having some leg pain and some anxiety. Goes to the doctor. They change the cast and say that's why she was having the leg pain. And they give her some tranquilizers because she's having some anxiety. And two days later, her sister, who's a nurse, says, hey, wait a minute. You're having more anxiety. Your leg pain is still there. Off you go to the emergency room whereupon they find a serious blood clot, in, not only in her leg, but in her lungs, and she has acute treatment for this, which saves her life. She would have had a point for being over 40, a point for being overweight, a point for hormone replacement, and two points each for surgery, leg injury, and a cast. That gives a total of nine. And in the 22,000 patients in our cohort of validated patients, which means they had a score and they had an event tracked down the road, her chances of a clot were anywhere from 6 to 18% with about a 1 to 2% mortality. And that means that in order to prevent that, she should have had anticoagulant therapy for the entire period she was at risk until she was walking normally. And we know from studies that were done that if you give these anticoagulants for the period of time the patient's at risk, their mortality is a tenth of a percent. Patients can go to the Illinois State Medical Society website where the tool can be downloaded and the patients can also get more information.